Let's take a look at testing solutions of linear inequalities. With linear inequalities, oftentimes we find ourselves testing solutions when we are asked to graph because when we graph these on a coordinate plane, we're going to have to shade and that in order to shade, we want to find where the um, solutions are for that particular inequality. So this is one of the places where we're going to use this particular skill. Now, in order to test these solutions, first of all, we want to remember that each ordered pair is in the form x, y. So 3, 4 right there, that's an x value and a y value. So what I'm going to do with those is simply plug them in. Now, something I want to uh, remind you about or make note of here is remember that this is the y value. Oftentimes we almost uh, fall into the trap of, oh, that's the first one, so I grab the 3 and plug it in there. Remember though, that's the y. So we grab our y value, which in this case is 4, and we have 4 is greater than then our x, which in this case is 3, so we have 3 plus 2. Okay, and then we just simplify each side and see if it works. So 4 is greater than 3 plus 2 is 5. Is that true? No, it is not true. So this is not a solution for this particular inequality. All right, let's take a look at this next one, see what happens here. So again, remember this is my x, this is my y, so we'll plug them in. We start with the y. 6 is less than, there's our x, 1 plus 6. Well, 6 is less than 1 plus 6 is 7. Sure enough, that works. So, let's take a look at this next one. Again, just understanding the process, very similar with each of these. I'm going to switch colors just so these kind of jump out at each away from each other. So, this one again, it starts with the y. So we plug in the y value, negative 3 is less than or equal to negative x. Okay, so negative and then the x value is 5, so negative 5 plus 2. Simplify, we get negative 3 is less than or equal to negative 5 plus 2. Okay, that would be negative 3. Negative 3 is less than or equal to negative 3. That's true because they're equal to each other. Now be careful, if it was just less than, then it wouldn't be true because negative 3 is not less than negative 3. So be really careful. Remember what that little line under there means. So this one, it works. All right, let's try this last one right here. Again, going to plug in that negative 4 for the y. So negative 4 is greater than or equal to 2 times x. There's my x, negative 1 minus 1. Simplify. Negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2 minus 1. And finish that up. Negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Now, sometimes you might be tricked into thinking, oh, that's true, sure. Negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 3 because 4 is bigger than 3. But wait negative 4 is actually less than negative 3. Be careful with those negatives. Don't get tripped up by that. So this one is not true. That is not a solution to our uh, linear inequality. So testing these solutions of linear inequalities, we simply remember ordered pairs are in the form x, y. We plug in each of those values, simplify, and see whether or not we end up with a statement that is true. If that statement's true, then that any that uh, uh, <laughs> that uh, ordered pair, holy cow, that ordered pair is a solution to our system. If it is not true, then it is not a solution to our system. Be on the lookout for the equals under there and also negative stuff. Be careful with that. Remember your skills in those areas. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.